Oh, jeepers. My heart's thumping so loud I can't hardly breathe. Toto? Toto? Oh. No need to be scared anymore. She ain't following us. I won't let her touch you no how. Oh, Toto. She must be the meanest old woman there ever was. Let's go tell Uncle Henry and Annie Yim. They'll take care of her. Come on, Toto. Come on. Oh. And in. And in. And in. Eight. Dorothy, please. We're trying to count. And then listen to what Miss Gulch did to Toto. Listen, she tried to hit him. Tell her. Uncle Henry. Dorothy, don't bother us now. You see, our old incubator's gone bad, and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Oh, poor little things. Oh, but Anne and Miss Gulch, she hit Toto right over the back with a rake just because she says he gets into her garden and chases her nasty old cat every day. But he doesn't do it every day, just, just once or twice a week, and besides, he can't catch her nasty old cat anyway. And now she says she's Seven going to Dorothy, get the... please! Uncle Henry, can't you do something? I am doing something right now, honey. So just stay out of our hair. Oh, all right. Okay, who was the genius suggested we move the wagon before the wheel was on? Well, it ain't so heavy with one less wheel. That makes sense, okay. doesn't it? Well, sense or no sense, when I lift it up, you hurry and shove it on there. See, yeah. Hickory, know what Miss Gulch said she was going to do to Toto? Oh, I swear they made this new wheel smaller than the other one. She... Oh, bigger or smaller, just hurry up and get it on there before my arms are ripped clear out of their sockets. I ain't made of iron, you know, I'm not a statue. She tried to hit him. Ow! Oh, you got my finger! Why won't anyone listen? Don't you care about Toto? Oh, look at Dorothy. You ain't using your brains about Miss Gulch. Ain't she got no brains? Well, sure I have brains. Well, then why don't you use them? Next time you're walking home, don't go by Mrs. Gulch's house. Then Toto won't get in her yard, and you won't get in no trouble, see? Oh. What's all this standing around? We got a parcel of lumber to haul to town before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. Oh, Zeke, what am I going to do? Well, first off, kid, you can't let that old Gulch heifer buffalo you. She ain't nothing to be afraid of. You gotta stand up to her, that's all. With a little courage, a little grit. Well, I'm not afraid of her. That's what I like to hear. You walk with your head up and your chest out, and the next time she squawks at you, you walk right up to her and spit in her eye. That's what I'd do. Would you really? Sure I would. In this life, you gotta walk tall and, and shoot straight. Then you got no reason to be afraid of nothing and nobody at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Zeke, are you all right? <laughs> what are you trying to do, kill a guy? How could you be so cruel? Oh, it's just a rib, Dorothy. Can't you see how white he is? You really scared him. Uh, who was scared? Oh, you was scared. <laughs> if you was a jackrabbit, you'd be in the next county by now. Here, here. What's all this jabber rapping when there's work to be done? I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of a job before they know it. Oh, we was just having some fun, Mrs. Gale. A farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go join a circus. Yeah, I might just do that. Be a big strong man. See the world. Well, don't start posing just yet. Here, here. Can't work on an empty stomach. I made cookies. Oh, gosh, Miss Gale. Thanks. Fresh baked? <sighs> well, you don't have to sit down to eat them. Go hitch up that wagon, and Zeke, you go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Annie, I'm really. Do you know what Miss Gulch said she was going to do to Toto? Dorothy, she... stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Well, I... Just it's... do us all a favor and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. A place on, where Toto. there isn't any trouble? Come on. Do you suppose there is such a place? 